Hi, I'm Michael Hood. I'm one of the data scientists with ProKarma's advanced analytics team. Recently, we've been working with Intel and some of their uh, healthcare clients to develop advanced analytics solutions, specifically around the area of hospital readmissions reduction, uh, as well as identification of patients who are at risk of uh, inpatient rapid response team events. Here we have a demonstration of the hospital readmissions reduction reference architecture that ProKarma developed using the uh, open source trusted analytics platform uh, that was largely started by uh, Intel. Uh, the way this application works is that a machine learning app algorithm is run on historical data which allows us to identify the patterns in patient population that are indicative of whether or not a person is likely to be readmitted at some point in the future. Uh, by using a model created from this historical data, uh, we can then deploy an application that allows us to look at new patients who the hospital has never seen before and then make a probabilistic estimate about whether or not this patient um, is likely to come back sometime in the near future. Uh, to, the way that we make this actionable is that we use that uh, predictive model uh, and we pipe that into uh, a web-based application that hospital staff could then use to identify patients who have been flagged as high risk and then given those patients and some contextual information around them such as reference populations, distribution of age for people um, similar to them, as well as some context around the details of their admission, uh, the hospital staff can then use their judgment and experience uh, to help identify what is the next best step to take in order to reduce the likelihood this person comes back. Here we have a, a demonstration of a recent uh, experimental proof of concept project that uh, ProKarma did in conjunction with Intel and a, a small nonprofit hospital group uh, down in Southern California. ProKarma came in uh, with the uh, explicit intention of trying to see if we could determine whether or not it was possible to predict in advance whether or not a patient was going to have a rapid response team event um, during their stay. Uh, as we dug into the data, uh, we discovered some very interesting things uh, about the quality uh, of the data as well as um, the nature of hospital rapid response team events. The most interesting thing we noticed is that uh, not only could we uh, identify these events, we could identify them uh, very well. So by using historical data, we could identify a model that was able to learn the patterns uh, that indicate whether or not a patient uh, is prone to having a rapid response team event uh, up to an hour in advance. And these aren't single points of prediction uh, that are made when the patient is, is admitted. Rather, these are predictions that can continuously be updated and made as new information becomes available. In effect, giving us the ability to have continuous monitoring of patients during the course of their stay in order to alert hospital staff of imminent patient decline. So the data that we use to create this predictive model is data that's commonly found in the electronic health record. So data such as vital signs, which includes respiratory rate, pulse rate, uh, diastolic blood pressure, uh, oxygen levels, uh, in conjunction with patient characteristics like obesity level, age, their gender, smoking status, the presence of dialysis or not. Um, in addition, um, our conversations with hospital staff and subject matter experts indicated that uh, different medications-based concepts such as the presence of antipsychotics, treatment for opioids, different narcotics and chemotherapy uh, were highly, uh, uh, highly predictive based on their substantive expertise. Um, in addition, concepts that are not explicitly represented in the data, which we had to create through um, um, our own analysis and feature engineering, were concepts such as uh, medication stacking, the interactions of different drugs, and finding ways to uh, represent those concepts through the data that was already there um, was another interesting challenge. But once we had done that, we were able to achieve a model that was um, highly uh, effective um, in, a, in a testing environment. Um, and one of the most interesting things to note about this model is that it has an exceptional false positive rate in contrast to other medical early warning systems that are currently out there. Well, one of the common problems with these early warning systems as they're uh, as often encountered in the real world is that the high incidence of false positives results in an excessive workload for the hospital staff which results in, in burnout, fatigue, waste of resources and then ultimately distrust of the very machine system that is supposed to be helping them. By using a machine learning system where you have the opportunity to adjust that false positive rate down to um, the right level, we can ensure that we are finding the optimal blend between patient security and maximizing the re limited resources that we already have. Here we have a, an architecture diagram of the readmissions reduction reference architecture. Uh, the way this works is that uh, uh, data extracts of electronic medical records are taken from an EPIC or Cerner system. Uh, those are then ingested 
into a, a Cloudera Hadoop um, cluster. From there, we use a combination of Apache Spark and Python open source libraries to then uh, build data pipelines to extract the records, process them, filter out only the records and fields of interest that we uh, want to work with. Uh, once we've identified that data, we can then use uh, Spark and Python to conduct uh, exploratory analysis of those, uh, of those data. Um, and then using Spark Machine Learning, we can then uh, run different machine learning algorithms on that data to identify the model uh, that is uh, best and most, as best for the problem, most performant. Um, once we have validated that model, we can then deploy it um, using the Cloud Foundry within the uh, uh, Trusted Analytics platform to then create a cloud-based application that can sc scale to an arbitrary size um, horizontally uh, and then can now be a, uh, a back-end API or an application that we then want to use um, within our existing workflows.